Good Thursday evening. We're glad to have you with us. I'm Shannon Newth. We begin tonight at Montana State University where students and staff went into shelter in place mode while police search for a suspect who may have been armed. MTN's Cody Boyer was on campus during the situation. In the end, about two hours after this, all started campus police say they found the man here inside Norm Asbjornsson Hall. Now, MSU Police Chief Frank Parrish says this began with a social media post from an employee, a current employee here on campus. MSU police received a report of a threat made by an MSU employee. After that, officers moved quickly, locking all buildings and immediately started looking for the man behind it. The suspect stated to a family member that he was ready to end it all and he has all of his guns loaded and he was ready to take out anyone with him. Agents from across the area rallied, working through the county 911 center and the emergency alert system. The suspect was nowhere to be found, but just minutes before had been at the campus police station. In this particular case, um, we didn't know where the suspect was. We knew he was on campus because he came by about 20 minutes prior to that and bought a parking pass. He was also scheduled for a two o'clock meeting, um, a dismissal hearing. He was an employee going through the disciplinary process. And according to Chief Parrish, the man was possibly armed with several guns. We were told that the suspect had two shotguns and a rifle. We have not recovered those at this time. Um, but that's all the information that we have on that. He was not armed at the time he was taken into custody. Police worked quickly using the county emergency alert system and sending text alerts out to students and staff, putting the university into shelter in place mode, something both campus officials and all police agencies involved say might have changed how this played out. The joint operation with the county 911 center allowed us to dispatch units from all over the county instantaneously, something that in the past we didn't have the capability of doing. Uh, the emergency alert system is absolutely vital. I mean, in a situation where we've got something fast moving happening, um, we want to be able to get that information out quickly. And with that, the shelter in place was lifted. No one was hurt, and the man was sent to the Gallatin County Detention Center. Without the help of technology and teamwork, Chief Parrish says this could have ended much differently. They followed the procedures that we trained them in doing. They listened to the emergency alert. I'd also like to really thank leadership here at MSU, because without their support, we wouldn't have been able to put these security measures in place that I believe makes MSU very safe. Investigators are still looking for the weapons that Chief Parrish does confirm that this man had access to. Police also impounded his car in a parking lot near Norm S. Bjornsson Hall, also here on campus in Bozeman. Cody Boyer, MTN News. A 